Hello and welcome back to Kitchen Voyeur, the show where we show you not only how to cook, but tell you a little bit about why. Today we have a special guest and a whole series we're gonna do. We have Evan Hendricks with us here today. We are in his kitchen, real life kitchen, real working kitchen. We've got kids in the background. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> this new series is all about teaching techniques rather than recipes. So transferable <laughs> concepts, learning one thing that allows you to do many things. If you know one technique, maybe you know 20 recipes all of a sudden. So I first was in this very kitchen with you, Evan just a couple of months ago, last fall. Yeah. And you showed me how to, quote, break down a chicken, boom, 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 put it in a pot, and make this delicious homemade chicken soup by layering flavors and using things I'd never heard of in chicken soup before, like fish sauce. And I thought to myself, people need to know this stuff. So you and I talked and I found out that you've been cooking a lot and for a lot of people and for a long time. Mm -hmm. You've been teaching men how to cook. You've been uh, a department manager at Whole Foods for eight years and recently transitioning on to other things. You are cooking for lots of people in your home with community dinners. Mm -hmm. And so you have so much to offer us just in terms of like, what does it mean to just cook? What does cooking mean? And so to get started, what we want to talk about is mise en place, which is a French term that means putting in place. Tell us what it means to you and why it's so important to get started right. Absolutely. Um, mise en place is strictly that's what it means to put in place. Yeah. It also means to clear the obstacles. And so for me, it was it was not only an application to cooking, but also an application just to the reality of life. And anything we step into, the first thing we wanna do is clear obstacles and get organized. Right. So if cooking is gonna be about something that we actually enjoy doing, because we all eat, we all have to prepare food in some capacity, so why not enjoy it? Right. So for me, mise en place, the first thing I do when I enter my kitchen is I look around and I pay attention to things that might be currently in my way that are obstacles that I need to get out of the way. So dirty dishes, uh, anything that's on the counter, I, I clear the space. Next thing I do is I bring out all the tools that I think I'm gonna be using yeah. for whatever specific dish or technique or recipe I'm gonna be uh, executing that night. For me, that starts with cutting board. Okay. Get a cutting board out. I always grab my knife. Yeah. I use my steel, hone my knife really quick, get it sharp. We'll talk about some knife skills, I think a couple later episodes down the line. Yes. Um, and then after that, I really started thinking about what it is I'm going to be doing in the kitchen. So I actually visualize what I'm going to be doing. So whether I'm going to be braising, sauteing, grilling, uh, baking, anything I'm going to be doing in the kitchen, I visualize what it is I'm going to be doing. Um, and why, why do you do that? Visualization, I think is a big thing that, I mean, we, we learned a lot in, in work environments. We learned it in sports environments. I learned it a lot growing up in sports. Um, but it's really, really important to picture ourselves in the process, fully engulfed in whatever it is we're doing and actually doing it well, doing it successfully um, and enjoying the process along the way. So for me, visualizing myself in the kitchen, actually enjoying preparing a meal for my family is critical. Do you read the recipe ahead of time? Yeah, a lot of times I'll read the recipe ahead of time, pay attention to, to simple little things that we often miss, like make sure you preheat the oven to 350, usually step number one. And oftentimes we're so busy and cluttered with life that we jump in and get our, our dish all put together and forget entirely to preheat the oven. So mm -hmm. I like to read the recipe all the way through, kind of top to bottom, pay attention to what the ingredients are I'm gonna need. And then at the same time, pay attention to the steps that are gonna be executed mm -hmm. throughout uh, the cooking process. Do you get all your ingredients out and have them all measured and chopped up and everything before? Or do sometimes it just depends? You know, it really depends. It depends on what it is that we're gonna be making. So one of my favorite techniques to use in cooking is a, is a process called braising. Um, and with braising, it's about preparing some ingredients, putting them in a, in a big pot, a Dutch oven, um, cooking them a little bit, but the majority of the cooking happens in the oven over a long, slow, extended period of time. And that first process for me is almost just a little bit kind of like a dance where I'm, I'm prepping one ingredient, slicing an onion, and then the onion goes in the pot and it simmers for a little bit and we add a little salt and then the carrots go in next. So the carrots, the next thing I dice. And it's really kind of a back and forth. 
Now, if I'm gonna be sauteing something and, and cooking something in a wok over high heat, um, like a stir fry or a fried rice dish, something like that, you do want everything prepped ahead of time because it all the cooking happens mm -hmm. in about three minutes. Right. And I can't prep anything as even as good as I am in right. three minutes. Right. So you want to make sure everything's laid out ahead of time. But that's part of the reading through the recipe, visualizing and knowing um, what the process is going to be for the time that we're going to be in the kitchen so that you can actually enjoy the process. And it's not just you isolated alone, the lonely cook in the kitchen enjoying the splendid isolation. Because you're organized, you're able to invite people into the space a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you're disorganized, if, if you're stressed and cluttered and kind of a wreck in the kitchen, yeah. then anybody that comes into the space is just an added distraction right. and added nuisance. Um, it, it's a very unwanted presence. And so for me, I love being in the kitchen. I love spending hours and hours in the kitchen. Cooking is, is what I'm very passionate about and it can get very lonely. And so I really like to set myself up to be able to invite people in yeah. to my space. And so being organized is a crucial component of that. If I'm not organized, then I get stressed and then people come in and it's, it's just not as enjoyable. So there you have it. That's mise en place. First, remove obstacles and clear your path. Next, check the lay of the land, the lay of the recipe, think it through, mm -hmm. get your stuff out, make sure your knives are sharp, make sure you feel good about what's going on, and then invite some people to come help you. Did I get that right? That was pretty much it in a nutshell. Okay, good. So that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for episode two where we talk about knife skills. I'm Dr. Wagner and this is Evan Hendricks and this is Kitchen Voyeur. Thanks for watching.